Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Local Storage by Building a To-Do App, Step 54. All right. So now we're going to add form input values updated as the second mandatory condition in the if statement using the AND operator. This way, the cancel and discard buttons in the modal won't be displayed to the user if they haven't made any changes to the input fields while attempting to edit a task. All right. So yeah, for this one, really easy. We'll just come right after this uh, this uh, first variable in the if statement. We'll do an and and like that. And then we'll take the thing we just created and we'll put it inside. What happened? Okay. And and like this. And then we'll put this thing. Well, heck the, come on now. <laughs> Let's take this, copy it, and put it right here. All right. So now when we add new task, title, something, date, whatever, description doesn't matter, add task, try to edit. Ah, uh, we don't want to do anything. Press X, the modal doesn't show up. But when we try to add new task again, you see it does say update task. And they're not going to cover this on 55. I don't even think they'll cover this anywhere in it. Uh, it's just a bug that they haven't uh, sorted out yet. So to fix this, what we're going to do this is a little extra. We're going to come up here and we'll take this seven, this uh, add task thing on 17. Copy that. We'll come down here right after the uh, curly brace for the if statement. Drop it off like that. Now when we add new task, title, whatever, date, whatever, description, doesn't matter. Add task, edit it. No, we don't want to do it. Get out of that. Now add it again. Now it says add task all over again. So now we fixed a mistake. All right. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 55. And we'll see you next time.